Hello there and welcome back. In this video I am going to continue my object-oriented programming series in Python and this time I would like to show you the so-called command pattern which is a, <coughs> a really interesting uh, technique as to how to create a system of classes which enable you to provide an interface for executing specific actions by knowing the class, the method and the data you want to perform on. And uh, I would like to demonstrate it with a SQL example. So let's get to it. What we are going to need is a new file in this folder. So command.py and we will import from the abc the abc method and the abstract method and we will need a class which is going to be called the transaction which is going to be a meta class from the abc meta base class and that is going to be an abstract method which is going to be the execute and the self is an argument so this is just a base class which is a meta class that will be the foundation for this uh, pattern in, a, in the way I demonstrated and uh, <coughs> the next thing we will do is define the following support classes so we will have a get class which is inheriting from the transaction and we are going to initialize this class with the staff and the transaction and the self, the trans equals transaction and we will define the execute method which is needed since we have this abstract base class and <coughs> this will have the self as a first argument and uh, and we're going to say that this is going to do the self transfer get. And yeah. But since we are talking about SQL, why don't we say that it is going to be select? Select. Insert transaction that in it self transaction self trans equals to transaction and <coughs> the execute is going to be defined the same way with the difference that we will call the insert function and we could do this for the update the, the, the other uh, SQL commands ok let's do the other one the update and update alright execute like the queue Okay, this is good. And we will have a class which is going to be the trans manager. Oh, let's call it transaction manager. Okay. <coughs> and this class will only define these methods since these are the ones we pass there. 
and yeah, so we will say forming select operation. Cool. And we need insert and the object. Coolio. And uh, we will need an agent or as I would like to call it the transaction broker which is going to be initialized by creating a transaction queue and if we say we would like to request transaction with the transaction specified in an argument. What we need to do is what happened to my typing? So append this transaction to the transaction queue and then just simply say we would like to execute this transaction all right so basically this is the skeleton for this pattern that i would like to show you so what we have here we have a meta class which serve as the base class for the rest of the supporting classes and it's called transaction this class the transaction has an abstract method which is the execute and we don't define anything in this class definition because we will override the execute function <coughs> in the next lines so we have this select class which inherits from the transaction base class and it will inherit the abstract method which needs to be overridden or defined in this scope so that we can use the select method of the specified transaction. And this is repeated for the insert and the update. Hold on. Insert and the update. And we will have a transaction manager which will help us uh, well, let's say do this whole functionality thingy. And what I'm going to do is check if it is working. So I'm going to have a, 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 a transaction which is the transaction manager <clears throat> and I'm going to create um, an, an, an select Oh no, that was already defined. What is needed is the broker, which is the transaction broker, and the broker is going to use the request transaction function. And I would like to request select. I would like to request. Uh, 
Uh, <coughs> hmm, let's do just some of these at random. Ooh. So we will have an insert, an insert, another select, an update, an update, and then insert. Alright. So now what is happening is that we have this transaction manager. Uh, this is going to be the argument for this. Yeah. Now it should be fine. So let's navigate here. run it. Oh, it's working! So basically this is how you can implement this uh, command pattern in Python. I hope this was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing. And as always the source code is on GitHub and leave a like and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.